Let's check back in with meteorologist Michael Haynes for a look at our forecast. We have a ton of events happening in our area, and I'm hoping we'll get some sunshine this yeah, weekend. Yeah, but plenty of sunshine, Carly, this weekend. So the main thing will be to keep yourself hydrated. Anything you're doing outside, uh, that includes this evening. As we look live together from Hoover, uh, from the Hyatt Regency, Highway 31 down below, 459. Traffic moving smoothly on this Friday evening, so let's uh, take it easy and get home safely. Uh, the temperature right now in Birmingham in the middle 80s at 85. Now, the wind coming in out of the northwest around 4 14 to 15, so at least that's keeping the humidity levels tolerable, but still uh, doesn't feel all that good. It feels like late June in Alabama, bottom line. So the radar mostly quiet across the central part of the state. We've had these few weakening showers moving out of uh, Calhoun County into Cleburne County. Now that's completely passed off into Harrelson County of Georgia, uh, so no travel problems as you head back home. We're heading out uh, this Friday night. The temperatures in the middle 80s, uh, Tuscaloosa at 86. Right now, Alabaster along I-65, 83. Uh, Clanton and Chilton County. County also coming in 83. The live view from the BJCC over downtown Birmingham will have temperatures slowly edging back down past midnight uh, to near a 70 uh, just past the midnight this evening, but very little chance for rain. So if, if you're heading out tonight, rain not a factor at all. We do have the system along the Gulf of Mexico, just south of the Gulf of Mexico, just west of the that the, the Florida Peninsula, but that will not impact us, at least not around here. So as we look throughout this weekend, the rain chances will increase slightly for Sunday, but most of us will remain dry over the next couple of days. The chance for any given location to get wet on the lower end. So this is our future cast. We'll start out to this afternoon heading into this evening. A few of those puffy white clouds here and there. So the big story will be the heat. By tomorrow afternoon, actual temperatures in the low to middle 90s, around 94 tomorrow afternoon in Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa, Northport, all of Tuscaloosa County. The eastern part of the state seeing a few clouds compared to the western part of it, uh, but still all of us running very warm. Then as we head into Sunday, notice how a couple of these widely spaced thunderstorms developing mainly over the eastern part of the state Sunday afternoon. Uh, but anything that does pop up could produce a brief downpour. So don't cancel your outdoor plans for Sunday. Just understand that you could have a brief thunderstorm at any time. Uh, but the, really the humidity, the big deal for us around here over the next couple of days. It's going to feel more like middle 90s uh, for all of us across uh, central Alabama tomorrow and into Sunday. Uh, so keep yourself hydrated, take frequent breaks, anything you're doing outdoors. Now for Sunday afternoon, again, we talked about the rain chances slightly edging back up and that trend will continue into Monday. Of course, the big stallions game protective stadium at six o'clock Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening at the kickoff temperature around 88. So yes, there's a very slight chance for a brief thunderstorm. So plan on that. Otherwise, we're expecting to remain dry throughout this weekend. Now we're dealing with two different tropical systems. Tropical storm Brett that will continue to pass out to the uh, to the west in the southern Caribbean. Uh, we're also dealing with Tropical Storm Cindy. Uh, could weaken just a bit over the next couple of days, but notice how once we head into the first part of next week and certainly the middle part of the week, uh, this will just become a, a depression not impacting the East Coast. So if you have any plans to head down to the Alabama Gulf Coast, that includes all the Alabama beaches, the Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Fort Morgan, uh, we're looking really good. Just your typical summertime weather over the next several days with highs in the mid to upper 80s with a few hit and miss thunderstorms each and every day. And then look at this, heading into next next week over the next five to seven days even hotter by the middle part of the week. We're projecting highs between around 92 to 95. Very little chance for rain by Wednesday with morning lows holding in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Carly share.